Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to get started with Easy Dita. We'll explore the editor interface, we'll create a concept and a task topic, and we'll learn how to add things like images and tables to our topics. Now topics are central to Easy Dita and to Dita itself. In Dita, content is created and managed as topics, not documents. These topics become the building blocks for your documentation. Topics can be reused, rearranged, and easily updated. If you want to learn more about topics and Dita in general, you can visit our Dita Primer at easydita.com slash Dita hyphen primer. Now let's create some content. Now to get started, we first open Easy Dita and select the Author tab to enter the content library. From here, you'll be able to navigate to the folders and various files. In the top left corner, select Create New. You select the topic type that you want to create. We're going to select a concept topic. Next, enter a title and a file name. We're going to call this topic our first concept topic. By default, the file is created in the current folder. To create the file in a different folder, click Change and select a new location. From this menu, you can also assign metadata to your topic or assign it to a collection. Now click Create and Edit to create and open the topic for editing. Now we are in the Editor view. To adjust your view, you select the gear icon from the top right and choose to show or hide the toolbar, prologue, other things like that. Every topic is preloaded with placeholder elements to help you get started. A concept topic includes a prologue, a short description, a title, and a body. We'll start with a short description. A short description should serve as a thesis or a summary for your topic. Next, we'll write the title for the body of the topic. Now let's write some content. To begin editing, place your cursor in the body of the topic and write. The topic editor is designed to share a look and feel with most text editing tools. This makes it a smooth transition for new users. Easy Dita is also the only Dita editor that allows multiple users to work in the same document at the same time. Whether writing, editing, or reviewing, there's no file locking and no performance slowdown. The toolbar along the top allows you to accomplish typical tasks. You can also insert some new elements from the toolbar, such as a new paragraph, a new section, this will be a new title as well as a new paragraph, and an image or a video. Now to add a media element, such as an image, place your cursor in the topic. Click the image icon in the toolbar or use the quick insert menu to search for and insert the image element. Select the media window. Now to insert an existing image, navigate to the image, select it, and click select file. To upload a new image, click the upload icon and click select files to upload. This will allow you to locate the file on your computer. Now click Upload. Select the thumbnail and click Select. Once the image is inserted, use the media toolbar to align the image within your document or add alternate text. To set image attributes, select the Attributes tab from the right side. If your image is too large, you can use the Attributes tab to set the width. For example, if you're publishing to PDF, we recommend that you set the width to 420 pixels. Now in order to create a table, place your cursor where you want to add that table. Now click the table icon on the toolbar and configure the table properties. Name your table. We're going to call ours Components Included. You add a header if necessary and select the number of rows and columns. 
Once the table is created, you can fill in the cells or make further edits to your table. You can merge cells by placing your cursor within a cell and selecting the direction in which you would like to join the cells. We're going to join this cell with the one to its left. You can split cells as well. The cell will split based on where your cursor is located within the text. For example, if I leave my cursor to the right of the number 3 and 8, then select Split Horizontal, the new cell will be empty. However, if I place my cursor between these numbers and then click Split Horizontal, the 3 and the 8 will be divided into the two separate cells. You can also add a row header to tables. With your cursor in the table element, click the Attributes tab on the right side. Now it's worth noting that the attributes showing in the Attributes tab are context sensitive. To ensure that you are applying attributes to the correct element, check the Element dropdown at the top of the Attributes tab. Scroll down in the Attributes tab until you see the Row Header Attributes dropdown. In the Row Header dropdown, Select First Call and insert the row headers. By default, when adding a row header, the first column of your table becomes that header. Add the row header text into the row headers. From the toolbar, you can also add links, reuse content, edit the data source code, insert special characters, or add comments. Oh, in another video, we'll talk more about links and how to reuse content. Now that we've created our first concept topic, everything is automatically saved in the cloud, so we can simply exit the topic editor. You'll see your topic in the File Picker menu. Now let's repeat those earlier steps and create a task topic. In the top left corner, select Create New. Select the task topic, enter a title and a file name, and create and edit to create and open the task topic for editing. Now a task topic is designed to answer the question, how do I? It's sort of a how-to topic type. Just like the concept topic, the task topic comes preloaded with elements to help get you started. The short description is that thesis or summary that we talked about. The context, which provides background for the task. The steps to complete the task. And the result, which shows an expected outcome. Now once you've completed the creation of the task topic, you can exit out of the topic editor. Now that we've created new content in the form of topics, in the next video, We'll look at how to assemble those topics in a map for publication. You can find the link to the next video in the description or visit easydita.com to see the whole series.